Today we are going to talk about data tokenization in Snowflake. Tokenization is the process of substituting a meaningless string value for sensitive data value in a database. The meaningless string value is referred to as a token. The sensitive values are removed from the database and placed in trusted storage. The original value is then replaced with a randomly generated token. The most common use case for tokenization is to allow a business to remove super sensitive data from their internal database and store it with a trusted third party. Usually the third party is certified to meet specific security standards, such as PCI level one. Included in tokenization is the idea of detokenization, which is the process of getting back the original value that a particular token refers to. To keep sensitive data safe, the value that is returned by detokenization is almost always presented ephemerally. The steps for detokenization look, should look something like this. A client application requests data from the database. The tokenization integration layer in the database intercepts the token returned by the database. And if the user requesting the data is authorized, it detokenizes them to their original value. Otherwise, the tokens are returned. The data is sent to the client application for display to the user. Notice that the sensitive data values are stored on disk in the database remains as tokens during the entire process. Now let's look at what Snowflake offers for tokenization. Snowflake does not have native built-in tokenization capabilities, but it can support custom tokenization through its external function and column level security features. As long as you have the resources available to write the code needed to implement tokenization, storage, and detokenization. Let's take a quick look at what that would entail. We'll use this architecture diagram from Snowflake documentation to show you three steps required to create your own tokenization solution in Snowflake. First, you will need to write and deploy a remote service that can handle tokenization storage and detokenization. This service will need to be implemented in Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud Platform, depending on which of these cloud providers you chose for your Snowflake instance. There's a significant amount of effort required in this step and will require not just programming expertise, but also expertise in how to use the storage, compute, and networking capabilities of your particular cloud provider. Also, Snowflake expects data passed to and received from external functions to be provided in a specific format. Thus, you will need to invest time in understanding this format and how to architect a solution that optimizes the exchange of large amounts of data. Next, you will need to configure a gateway endpoint in your cloud provider to receive the HTTP requests and responses required by Snowflake for external functions. This layer is also where you implement authentication to ensure that only valid requests from your Snowflake instance are processed. After implementing your external tokenization function, you will need to create two objects in your Snowflake instance. One is a user-defined function, which will be called from within your SQL statements to tokenize or detokenize data. And the other is an integration object that holds the credentials, allowing your Snowflake instance to connect and make a call to external functions in your cloud provider's environment. These two objects can be created using SQL. After these three steps, are completed, then you will be able to call your detokenize tokenize function from your Snowflake client. Now let's compare this with using Alter. If you use Alter and Snowflake together, tokenization is much easier because Alter has done all of the implementation work for you. To use tokenization in Alter, you only need to create the Snowflake integration object that points to our service and to define external functions in your database. We provide a SQL script that does this work for you with just a single SQL command. You will need to generate an API key and a secret from the Alter portal. This key and secret value are inputs to the SQL script we provide. Just run the script to create a Snowflake integration object that represents a connection to Alter's external tokenization and detokenization implementation in the cloud. This script also creates two external functions that use this service, one to tokenize data and another to detokenize. Now we can look at tokenization in action. As mentioned previously, a best practice is to have sensitive values tokenized at rest in the database, preferably before they land in Snowflake. Alter supports this through a library of open source integrations to data movement tools like Matillion, BigID, and others. 
If we run this highlighted query as an account admin, we can see that we have two columns tokenized, the name and the SSN columns. The tokens that you see here are the values on the disk within Snowflake in the cloud. When it comes to detokenizing, we want to only detokenize a value on the fly when the data is queried. And we only want to detokenize the value for roles that are allowed to see the values. With Ultra Tokenization, we do this for you automatically. If we run this next query with the data scientist role, then we will see the values are detokenized and we see the original sensitive values instead of tokens. This is because in the Ultra Portal, we have allowed the data scientists to see these values. So to summarize, we showed that while it is possible to create your own custom tokenization implementation within Snowflake, it will take a significant amount of work. In contrast, if you use Altra for tokenization, you do not need to write any code or invest in developing a solution. We take care of that for you. We can ensure your data is tokenized before it lands in Snowflake with our open source integrations for your ETL ELT pipelines, and we can automate detokenization to only users who you authorize through the Altra portal.